Chase Edmonds had a field day on Saturday, rushing for 234 yards and two touchdowns in number 13 Fordham's league opening win at Lafayette. The sophomore back now leads the FCS in rushing with 654 yards and he's sixth in all-purpose yards with 891. After Saturday's win, the Rams are tied with Colgate in the early season league standings at 1-0. Colgate picked up another win in non-league action on Friday, while Holy Cross and Bucknell also won on Saturday. Here are all the highlights from Week 5. Lafayette was thinking upset early after turning a fumble on the opening kickoff by Fordham into a 10-yard touchdown run by Deshaun Brown just 15 seconds into the game, but it was all Fordham from there. Kevin Anderson nodded the score at 7 later in the quarter with a 5-yard touchdown pass to Fazan Odin in the back of the end zone, and with no time left on the first quarter clock, Chase Edmonds busted loose for a 67-yard touchdown in the 14-7 lead. Kendall Piercy powered his way in from 16 yards out in the second quarter to make it 21-7 at halftime, and early in the third quarter, Anderson put it away with his second touchdown pass of the game, this time for 71 yards to Corey Cattle who put the Rams up 28-7 and they held on there for the 35-7 win. Holy Cross's Peter Puyol's got the Crusaders going early against Albany, making it 14-0 following a 42-yard touchdown connection with Jake Wysork late in the first quarter. Cleef Raymond broke the game open minutes later, avoiding heavy pressure as he caught the Albany punt and broke free down the left sideline for the 67-yard punt return for a touchdown and the 21-0 lead. Puyol's capped the first half with his first of two touchdown passes to Brendan Flaherty and the Crusaders rolled on for the 37-0 win. Bucknell trailed 13-7 at VMI at halftime, and it only got worse early in the fourth as Dante Malk ran 42 yards to make it 19-7 with 10.54 left, but cue the Bison comeback. On the ensuing kickoff, Joey DeForia found a seam up the middle and broke it to the right sideline, going 85 yards to the house for the touchdown, and like that, it was a five-point game at 19-14. Five minutes later, RJ Nitty put the Bison on top 22-19, connecting with Will Carter for the nine-yard score. VMI hit a field goal with no time left to force overtime, and after the Kedets missed the field goal on their first possession in the extra session, Matt Del Morrow busted up the middle and ran 23 yards for the walk-off touchdown as the Bison escaped Virginia with a 28-22 win. Jake Melville threw a pair of first-half touchdown passes to lead the Colgate Raiders out to a 21-7 halftime lead at Cornell on Friday night. Melville's two-yard touchdown run in the third made it 28-7, and the Raiders held off a late big red rally to win 28-21. Lehigh quarterback Nick Shefniski scored early in the third quarter on a 24-yard touchdown run to cut Yale's lead to 13-7. But Deshaun Salter helped put it away for the Bulldogs after his second touchdown of the game, this time a 42-yard scamper in the 27-12 win. Number 24 Harvard rode a big first half to a 45-0 win over visiting Georgetown on Friday as Paul Stanton ran for 113 yards and two scores in the Crimson win. For the full schedule of upcoming live events on the PLN, log on to PatriotLeague.tv. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Jimmy Johnson.